Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me Nikki here and I'm so excited about this video because I'm going to take you on the journey of decorating my first Christmas tree of 2021. And I wanna thank the sponsors of this video, Balsam Hill, for just all of the beautiful Christmas decor that they put out every year. And I am so glad that I'm able to do this with you so that I can share with you some of the great Balsam Hill finds that are going to be in my home this Christmas. So let's get started. <music> Okay friends, so let's get this Christmas tree up in the living room, but there's first one requirement, getting that holiday beverage. Eggnog is my favorite go-to, so what is yours? Let me know in the comments, I would love to know. But now that we have that taken care of, let's go ahead and get this tree ready. Now, my tree in the living room is by Balsam Hill and it's the Fraser Fir, absolutely beautiful. It just totally brings the winter from outside inside and it is just one of the, the prettiest trees that I have ever had in my home and I love it. So one tip that I wanna share with you when you're fluffing your tree is to just kind of take your time, work around, but also take pictures with your phone as you go. It will give you a different perspective of how it looks and make sure it looks even, there's no holes. Sometimes when you're looking straight on, you can miss that and a picture tells everything. So when I am fluffing my tree, I like to just go over to each branch and just spread it out and just make sure that it just looks even, to make sure that everything really flows nicely and so I want to make sure that one side is not chunkier on the other and sometimes when your tree is sitting in the bag all year it just really needs you to take time to just bring it to life so next it's all about checking your lights. You wanna definitely make sure those lights work before you get started putting all of your beautiful ornaments on there. And what I love about my Balsam Hill tree is that it has both the color and the clear light. So I can transform my tree from year to year. It's really a fun feature. So now that the tree is beautifully fluffed, I am ready for the fun part, my ornaments. And how I think this out is I like to put my decorative round ornaments first. And these are from Balsam Hill also. And I've had these for a year now and they are the Nordic Frost. And what I love about Balsam Hill is that they create these ornament collections. So you can buy one collection and have a beautiful variety that really works great together. And so my Christmas, you know, in my home, I tend to do the white and the red. In the dining room, I'm incorporating a little bit of green and black so it's a little bit of a different in that area but I love just adding those in and then using just a standard color solid bulb to blend in so once I put my you know more decorative bulb, round bulbs I'll put the red and these are also from Balsam Hill and they have this just kind of um, basic essential set that you can buy in different colors that really complement your more decorative ornaments and so it's just so much fun seeing that come together this year I'm not overdoing it with my tree I'm not putting a lot of just all random ornaments and ribbon and things I want just a very wintry feel very just beautiful but simple and and I like at the end adding in those special ornaments that I've collected over the years from our travel or things that are sentimental and that's kind of how I think out starting out my tree with those round ornaments and then my sentimental ornaments along with the basic color essentials. So after putting on the ornaments, I always like to give texture to my tree by putting in picks. And I love these here. I've had them for about a year now and they're also from Balsam Hill. And they're the berry picks that are just perfect for the tree. And there's no rhyme or reason. I just go through and I put them where I feel that I wanna add texture to my tree. And it just really gives it a whimsy feel and give, makes it a lot of fun. And I even like using it as my topper. But when I looked at it this year, I was like, you know what, I don't even know if I want a topper I really want that wintry feel and just with a little added pop and I just fell in love with it so friends thank you so much for joining me today and I have more to come definitely check the description box right now because I have an exclusive discount code from Balsam Hill for you and it's on top of their Black Friday sale so you definitely don't want to miss that and it's right there in the description box have a beautiful day my friends I will see you at the next video and this is Nikki saying goodbye <music>